Well, we do continue under a little bit of an elongated ridge of high pressure. It's right down in this part of Texas. This fetch of moisture that's been coming off of this storm system is starting to uh, ease up a bit because the storm's weaker and it's going to push on out of the area. So we're seeing less moisture out there where we did get a little lift. We've gotten some showers. All the major systems are almost zonal across Canada, so we're not dumping any cool air south. Of course, out in the Jose region, it looks like it'll kind of brush the northeastern U.S., but it's weakening. It's going to get up in colder water, so we're not expecting much out of it. We're kind of watching Maria for uh, several days down the road, but you can see a few showers at least north of the uh, Red River, and we're not going to see too much in our area. A few showers that popped out in the Gulf region. Satellite radar, we have our morning clouds giving way the afternoon uh, variable cloud cover, generally partly cloudy. Southerly wind, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Future track we're just going to cool down gradually tonight we'll bring some clouds in toward morning it does show a little batch of moisture in the morning uh, early morning hours but I can't see much more than a sprinkle mainly out of the low stratus deck so I'm not going for anything we will be back in the low middle 90s tomorrow most of us low 90s 74 tonight with the temperatures a little bit above normal and then tomorrow we'll run 93 and call it variable cloud cover. We get our morning clouds and as it dissipates, we do puff up remaining moisture and get some cumuliform clouds in the afternoon. Winds will be southeast 5 to 15. We do get some occasional gusts in that 5 to or 15 to 20 mile an hour range. The clouds I show you are just mainly morning clouds. They just gradually dissipate to a partly cloudy, occasionally mostly cloudy sky in the afternoon. Temperatures all stay up. Now we're going to start surging in just slightly cooler air. It's not coming in strong enough or a deep enough wedge that we can lift the moisture into shower. So somewhere in here we could get sprinkles, but there's nothing to get excited about at this point. But we do start to gradually bring the temperatures down. So by the end of next weekend, we may be talking some 80s and 60s once again, which would feel pretty good. Chris? That sure would feel pretty good, Bill. All right, thanks so much.